most people nowadays don't really eat omega-3 sources. Flax and chia seeds have the highest dose of omega-3s in the plant world that you can find. They are primarily omega-3. So I use those as a rapid way of replacing it, right? Now, you mentioned something about flax and chia seeds. Mm -hmm. um, and I know, I get it, and I understand that they are omega-3s, but why are they so important? And how does that affect um, you know, your body in, in, in healing? Omega-3 fatty acids are supposed to be a part of your cellular membrane. So every one of us is made of cells, right? And on the inside of our cells is all water-soluble stuff, right? Okay. Then we have a membrane around each cell that has fats in it, right? Mm -hmm. To keep, and, and one side of it is all, it, it's, it's called a phospholipid. It's fat on the outside, water dissolvable on the inside. And that's so we don't dissolve. Because uh, if we didn't have those fatty membranes around our cells, we would just dissolve, like we'd get right. wet and then we'd be a puddle ourselves. So there's <laughs> right. these fatty membranes, okay? Now, mm -hmm. one of the fats that are important in that membrane is supposed to be omega-3 fatty acids. Now, okay. typically, if we, if we went back to like tribal humanity, where we were walking around through the forest, we would be eating mostly things that grow on trees and bushes, right? right. Because mm -hmm. we, that's what we would do, that's what we did, right? right? Mostly green stuff, because when you look around, everything's mostly green, right? And then occasionally right. you're like, oh my God, a fruit tree, and then you'd eat some fruit, right? Like, but right. you don't walk around and see fruit everywhere you look, right? It's green, <laughs> right? It's green. green. Greens and greens, <laughs> vegetables and greens, and then, ooh, bananas, right? And then, so, so right. we were doing that. We would actually have a really good balance of omega-3 to omega-6, and I was talking about those two parts of the immune system, because there's actually some omega-3s even in greens, but a little bit, all right? Um, and those omega-3 fatty acids though, when they're a part of our cell membranes, they make our membrane very flexible and receptive to signaling. So we have a nice flexible membrane that can do like a catcher's mitt, I always think of it, right? Like it can squeeze. So if there's a signal that comes along and this signal says, I've been working out like crazy, I wanna lose fat, the signal comes and the catcher's mitt catches it and it releases fat. Another signal comes along, we have some inflammation to repair, I'd like you to repair it, it catches it, it does the job. Most people nowadays, don't really eat omega-3 sources. Flax and chia seeds have the highest dose of omega-3s in the plant world that you can find. They are primarily omega-3. So I use those as a rapid way of replacing it, right? So if you don't have omega-3s, your body uses the second best, which would be omega-6. Omega-6 is in meat, dairy, oils, processed foods. So in most people's diet, constant, right? right. So their cells are full of omega-6 instead. Now omega-6 makes a cell stiff. If the cell is stiff, Signals that come along will bounce off and never be received, and okay. toxins get trapped inside as well. Okay. With the omega-3s in there, toxins can leave. Mm -hmm. But when it's a stiff, hard membrane, toxins stay trapped inside, nutrients can't get in, signals can't dock, and now again, you have a sick cell. It's getting poisoned with toxins, it can't get nutrition, it can't get any of the results, and so therefore, you're not going to be able to move forward, not gonna get healthy, right?